Gentleman is recognized. You know, to the points that several have made on this side of the aisle, including Mr. Gates, I was intrigued. That, it is, as was pointed out by some, this bill has passed and previously on a voice vote on the floor. And meaning, or, or yeah, meaning that nobody called for a roll call, nobody's terribly upset about it. Uh, to the extent you talk about domestic terrorism, white supremacy, there's been unanimity in Congress in opposition to that. But the problem is, and, and the reason the, the uh, parents going to school board meetings and being the subject of the Attorney General's memorandum calling for meetings all over the country of federal law enforcement with other community leaders to, to sort of target them, and the, and the threat tagging and so forth, the reason that gets called up is it begs, a, it begs the question, what is the motivation of this? And I, and I, was, I was listening to my colleagues, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Ms. Jackson Lee, she gave a roll call, as she said, but she didn't mention Waukesha, Wisconsin. Why not? She didn't mention when she talked about Coleyville, she didn't, that was the one where she, she'd been talking about white supremacy, but she didn't mention the motivation of that one. That wasn't about white supremacy. It was an extra Islamic terrorist. I, I, the, 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 the focus, the reason for the focus eludes me. I, so I looked at the chairman's memo to the committee. And uh, you have, uh, it, here it is, it's a hate crime and domestic terrorism statistics. It says since uh, there's been a 30% increase in 2019 in uh, incidents motivated by race, ethnicity, or ancestry. Interesting thing to me is, that reminded me of another statistic. There's been a 30% increase in homicides in 2020 across the country. It, th this also says that since 2015, right-wing extremists have been involved in 267 plots, completed attacks, and 91 fatalities. That's over seven years. Just under half were in connection with those with involved white supremacy. That would suggest about 45. Well, just in that year of increase in homicides, 5,000 more people were killed. How is this the priority? How is this the one that justifies reorganizing the FBI? And in order to do it, you redefine effectively what domestic terrorism is. Domestic terrorism is in a statute along with international terrorism. The only difference is international terrorism is that which occurs abroad, usually injuring Americans somehow, or that which transcends boundaries. Domestic is just the results happen in the United States. Well, you strip away all of that for the purpose of doing this reporting except for those that are committed by people that are citizens or dom domiciled in the United States. Who are you targeting? And then later on in the, I mean, of course, mention's been made of the January 6th riot at the Capitol. You have two things here. You got, you're back to vilifying police officers. If you want to look for a cause of why we had a 30% increase in homicides, 5,000 more homicides across the country, Probably because the Democratic Party made it its mission to defund the police and to characterize and to vilify police. And here you're doing it again, say, talking about white supremacy in the military, based on, as I read it, a handful of 10 or 20, or, or I don't even came to say it was that many. In one case, a Marine, it's like one person. And then you, and you also vilify law enforcement. You're citing somebody's article that talks about the epidemic of white supremacy in law enforcement. My goodness. Have you learned nothing since undertaking the stupidest political activism in the history of the world to attack and defund police? Murders go through the roof, 5,000 more murders. But where is your priority? The priority is to, is to codify, in fact, what are you doing here? You're codifying practices apparently the FBI is already undertaking. But I suggest that the Activities the FBI has undertaken ought to be cause for concern. We haven't seen, there's been absolutely a total nonchalance from the majority about the Attorney General's memo. The chairman just said in the opening remarks in response to Mr. Jordan that it's no big deal. The uh, National School Boards Association apologized for its letter. Indeed it did. But the Attorney General has not withdrawn his memorandum directing federal law enforcement across the country to focus on parents. We had the U.S. attorney from Washington in here just a week or so ago in the crime committee, and we asked him, did you have any incidents in Washington that justified this? Nope, didn't know of any that warranted a nationwide scope of action. That disturbs the majority not at all, and they want to double down on directing the power of federal law enforcement against American citizens. It should be 
of grave concern to all of us. I yield back.